Every day, our bodies lose water when we breathe, sweat, cry, and go to the bathroom. Becoming dehydrated is easy, and it can cause problems. Water is crucial for keeping us hydrated, helping our organs work, our brains function, and making us feel good overall. Our bodies are mostly made up of water, around 60 to 70%, and if we don't have enough, it can lead to various health issues. Many people don't drink sufficient water, but our bodies give us signals when we need more. Today, we'll talk about those signs, such as headaches, bad breath, getting sick often, muscle cramps, dry skin, and more. Bad breath. Your breath will smell better if you increase the amount of saliva in your mouth. This may be a regrettable sign of dehydration as your mouth dries out and bacteria start to grow. Maintaining the proper quantity of saliva can be achieved by drinking several glasses of water in between meals to help wash away food particles. Lack of water consumption slows down salivary flow, which has antibacterial qualities and encourages germs to proliferate more quickly within your mouth, leading to foul breath. Muscle cramps. Heat-related diseases may arise from your body being unable to cool down appropriately due to excessive fluid loss. Muscle cramps are one symptom to keep an eye out for, especially when exercising, especially in warm weather. The more you heat up, the higher the chance of experiencing muscle cramps because the heat affects your muscles. As your muscles work harder, they might tighten up due to the heat. Imbalances in electrolytes like sodium and potassium can also contribute to muscle cramps. Even in cooler weather, not drinking enough fluids while working out can still lead to dehydration. The symptoms might be less severe or show up more slowly, but dehydration poses similar risks regardless of the temperature outside. Since we're discussing exercise, it's crucial to stay mindful of staying adequately hydrated. Sugar cravings. When your body doesn't have enough water, it can't access its energy stored in glucose effectively. This can lead to sudden cravings for sugary and carbohydrate, rich foods. If you find yourself wanting sweets like chocolate, donuts, cookies, or candies unexpectedly, it might be a sign that your body needs water, not necessarily more food. If you're dealing with sugar cravings or feeling hungry shortly after eating, try drinking more water. Rehydrating your body can often help control these cravings and keep them in check. Dark urine. You probably need to drink more water if you're only using the restroom four times a day. Another indication that you're probably not receiving enough fluids is if your urine is dark yellow in color rather than clear or light. Although drinking water is advised throughout the day, other liquids can also help us stay hydrated. As substitutes, you may alternatively use tea and low-fat milk. We consume food that includes water as well. To stay away from too many calories, though, water ought to be your first pick for a drink. Slow digestion. There are several reasons why digestion might be sluggish. It can be a sickness or something you've eaten, but dehydration can also have a significant effect. Insufficient intake might cause digestion to slow down considerably, which can lead to irregular cramping or stomach discomfort. If this is occurring, see if it helps to try drinking extra water. Decreased energy levels. Are you continuously exhausted to the point that you feel the need to nap? Adding additional water to your everyday routine can assist. Being dehydrated reduces blood circulation, which might cause your body to save energy. When the muscles do not receive enough oxygenated blood, they may cramp during exercise and become exhausted. If you experience this throughout your workout program, do not push yourself. Stop, drink water, and relax. You're constantly thirsty. Usually, when you're thirsty, you should be drinking water. You may be more dehydrated than you realize if you have a little parched feeling. Noting how often you use the restroom is an excellent approach to be sure. An average individual ought to urinate 4 to 10 times every day, additionally dependent on your age. And if you take medicine, is this statistic. In the end, consider setting an alarm on your phone to remind you when to rehydrate if you think your body is more dehydrated than the normal person. Unexplained headaches. Headaches can be complex, and often we can't pinpoint the exact cause. It might be due to food sensitivity, stress, an illness, or even dehydration. While over-the-counter pain relievers can offer some relief, a helpful approach is to promptly rehydrate the body. Watery eyes. When you don't have enough water, your eyes can become dry and red. The tear ducts, which usually keep your eyes moist, can dry up. When your body notices that your eyes lack moisture, 
It responds by making a lot of tears to fix the issue. Not sweating during exercise. What happens if you don't sweat throughout your workout? It's possible your body is dehydrated. Typically, when the body overheats during activity, it generates perspiration to maintain the core body temperature. Our bodies are unable to regulate themselves when there is little water to create perspiration. This can be quite dangerous as it might cause overheating or heat stroke. Frequent illness. Drinking water is like giving your body a cleaning boost. It helps get rid of harmful things like toxins, waste, and bacteria, which can cause diseases and infections. When you drink enough water, it strengthens your immune system, making you less likely to get sick often. If you find yourself frequently getting sick, it might be a signal that you need to drink more water. This simple habit keeps your body clear of harmful stuff, helping it work at its best. Constipation Drinking water is good for your digestion and helps keep your bowel movements regular. It keeps your stool soft and helps it move easily through your digestive tract. When you don't drink enough water, your body may take water from your stool to make up for the loss of fluids. If you're having trouble with irregular bowel movements, drinking more water can make your stool softer and relieve issues like constipation and bloating. Dry skin. Water is like a natural moisturizer for your skin, making it look more youthful, vibrant, and brighter. When your skin cells are well hydrated, your skin appears plumper and more elastic. On the flip side, if your skin lacks water, it can become less elastic and lose its plumpness. This may lead to dryness, flakiness, wrinkles, fine lines, and sagging skin. In addition to these benefits, water helps your body get rid of harmful pollutants, reducing issues like acne and other skin problems. If you're not seeing the desired results from anti-aging creams and skin treatments, try increasing your water intake. It can make you look younger and improve various skin concerns. Joint pain. Increasing your water intake might help reduce some of the uncomfortable sensations associated with arthritis and other joint pain conditions, even if it might not be a treatment for them. Insufficient water consumption may result in fluid retention in your fingers and ankles. Water is essential for lubricating joints, thus consuming it might ease joint discomfort. Low blood pressure. More than half of your blood is plasma, which is the liquid part containing water, protein, and salt. If there isn't enough water in your plasma, your blood becomes more concentrated. This makes it hard for the blood to flow properly to the organs that need it, resulting in lower blood pressure. Water plays a vital role in carrying hormones and nutrients to where they are needed. When you don't drink enough fluids, this process slows down, leading to various bodily issues. Reduced fluid intake can also cause a drop in blood pressure, potentially causing dizziness. In response, your heart may beat faster as it tries to raise the blood pressure to normal levels. Ensuring your body stays healthy is as simple as drinking enough water, which can help ward off minor aches and pains. How much water do you typically consume daily? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.